people here are quite good-natured and peace-loving. They lead a life that is a real example of unity, peaceful coexistence, and mutual love. A mother adores her children to the greatest extent possible. A father can stick to his son beyond all measures. His emotions towards his son will never subside under the fervent efforts and rush by nations and organizations. All the world's devils and vicious criminals will fall to penetrate the tight relation between the father and his son. The relation will stand against all the false humanitarian pretexts made as a cover for the real intentions of spite, theft, robbery, and human organs trafficking. West Darfur, which lies on the Sudan-Chadian borders, is an area of land inhabited by a coherent Sudanese community whose farms and lands yield crops and products that keep their markets and trades working and enable their schools to receive pupils and learners. The same land had become the site for health centers and units which receive patients and provide clinical treatment and health care. So life proceeds here safely and peacefully with all its aspects of food, drink, education and health. About three kilometers from the Sudan-Chadian border, there is a village by the name Asonga. This morning, life will start a new day in its normal cycle. Today is the weekly market day. The village market day will bring people from the neighboring regions and villages. They come with their trade and will get what they need. They usually spend some time talking and exchanging news. In such borderline regions, the exchange of news starts in whispers in a small circle that gradually starts to widen. However, this time the whole village started to pass the news openly and aloud. They started to relate the story of Halloum, the mother who had walked for 25 kilometers to the region of Adari in the Chadian territory to discover that her sons, Hussein and Habib, are not there in the camp where scores of children were gathered on the pretext of free education and health care. The mother, who was three months pregnant, was shocked, felt dizzy and collapsed. Her three-month embryo was aborted due to the shock. The shock of discovering the most repulsive and mean crime committed by the first world human being against the third world human being. My name is Halloum Musa Harun. I had heard that the children will be taken to receive free education in Adari. I took my two children to register them. They took them, and I returned home. I came again to inquire about them, and I was told that they were registered. When I came again to see them, I was told that they were sick and were taken to Adari for treatment. When I came again, I was told that the treatment was not finished yet. A few days later, I was told that the Frenchman took him to Abashi. I was so alarmed that I went to Abashi. I was pregnant for three months, but it was aborted. Then the shocking and exciting details started to show up. They started to tell about the crime of the century, about the campaign of the slavery and trafficking in human beings. We step aside here for the culprits to speak.